host Sean Hope. Joining me today is one of the most important people I know. Born on the 5th of December 1968, in a place famous for their Cheshire cats and cheese, Macclesfield, Cheshire, England. His mum unfortunately passed away when he was only a child, but his dad later married to his quote evil stepmom, and they moved to Central Coast Australia, where he became sports Australian Day Sportsman of the Year for his judo. Joining me today is my dad, Philip Hayward. I'm going straight into the questions. Describe your childhood with England and Australia. Describe my childhood of England and Australia. Okay. Well, growing up in England, I can always still remember it being a bit cold and wet. Um, but some of the best parts were uh, bright sunny days in winter when you had snow on the ground. And also, again, the days were longer in England during summer. So, you know, coming home from school and still having like six or seven hours of daylight. But the opposite, of course, is in winter, when you come home from school in the dark. So Australia was fantastic, though, because I moved to the Central Coast, like you said, and I had the beach around the corner. Um, so I learned how to surf and my homework went downhill from there. <laughs> you mentioned snow. How cold did it get? Cold. Um, so usually to have snow, it's below uh, zero degrees. So yeah, cold. Did you also mention the summer. How hot would it usually get in the summer? Oh, about 22, 23 was a good summer. Good summer day. Did you enjoy surfing? I really enjoyed surfing, yes I did. Um, it took me a little while to get over the fear of sharks because I'd just watched Jaws before I came over here. So I was a little bit scared of the sharks when I first got here. Um, what's the differences from when you were younger and growing up in England and adulthood growing up in Australia? Um, geez, the differences would definitely be you kids having more responsibilities now, not only for you. Um, but also work as well. I um, Work can be hard going sometimes, of course, that's why it's called work. Uh, you do miss the school days because it was, you know, all your mates around you and everything like that. So paying the bills, responsible for your kids uh, and work. What's the biggest change and challenge you've ever experienced? The biggest change and challenge? Well, that would definitely be moving from um, England to Australia, like you said in the intro, um, because I lost all my family, because all my family is still over in England, and um, making new friends. Um, and it didn't take me long to make new friends, but that was definitely a tough part. Uh, and everything's so far away in Australia. But like I said, it's a really great country. I love this country. It's so diverse, so big, it's warm all the time, <laughs> um, even though it looks like it might rain later on today. But yeah, so that would definitely be the biggest challenge moving from England to Australia. What's the biggest technology change you've ever experienced? Biggest technology change would have to be uh, the World Wide Web, so the internet, uh, and iPhones. I, I think it's amazing that, you know, everything you can possibly want to do now, you can do on the net. Uh, you can look up um, anything you want to, you can find out information, anything you want to, right at your fingertips. Uh, and now with the phones that, you know, you can be anywhere and still be in contact with somebody. Uh, the other downside of that is that everybody's on the mobile phones nowadays. Yes, yeah. What's some of your interests? Some of my interests, oh, I've got lots of interests. Um, music, I like music, I like reading books, uh, I like cars, lots of interests. What's your dream car? Because you mentioned cars. My dream car? It's a 1972 BMW 2002 Turbo. Thank you for being here. You're welcome, James. Thank you very much for interviewing me. Sorry.